Now we've spent the day celebrating Oktoberfest, but let's take it a bit easy with a ride on the Golden Ticket Trolley. Well, Vicki, you are the owner operator of the Golden Ticket Trolley. Tell us what is the Golden Ticket Trolley? Well, we are a trolley in Frankenmuth. We hold 28 people and we go all through town. We go on the outskirts of town to show people different things that there are to do besides shopping and eating. But, you know, you got to walk all that food off. <laughs> but we go to, um, we have a church here that was built in 1880. So I take people through there. I talk about history, fun facts. Um, we have a 9-11 monument that many people don't know we have. And we talk about just pretty much everything and anything that you want to know about Frankenmuth. I try to incorporate into the, into the tour. Well, how did you get started? I wanted to do this actually for a long time. And we moved here in 2012. And as time went on, I thought more and more about it, and I talked to a longtime local in just a conversation, and he said, hey, you should go for that. I was like, I think I will. And so I talked to my husband, and then we had a meeting with the city, and they gave us the, the green light to do it. So the next thing was to find a trolley. And that is not easy. So we found, this is Lucy. We found Lucy at Door County, Wisconsin. She is a 2011 model. And it was hand-built as well in Wisconsin. The problem was we didn't have a way to get it here. So, because you have to have a CDL license to drive this. So we hired somebody to bring Lucy to us and found storage for her in the winter. In the meantime, we got our CDL and everything just kind of went into place. It was almost like a, it was absolutely uncharted territory. We had no, we were just like, I don't know, what's our next step? And then we would do something and everything just fell into place the right, the way that it should. And there was a time where there was no turning back. And here I am, we're at River Place. They were, I had to have some place that had a lot of parking and that was easy for me to maneuver around. And so River Place shops were the first place I called and they were like, oh my gosh, you got a trolley? And I said, yeah. Oh yeah, we want to talk to you. And I, I just remember being on the phone going, okay, okay, when are we going to talk? And so it, one thing led to another. We had our booth delivered. I worked tirelessly on my script because I want to make sure that everything is accurate that I talk about. And I did have some locals that were very helpful in making sure my information was correct. So when people come on the trolley, I do an introduction and do a little bit explaining about myself and then we start out with the construction that is going on at the lodge. And I just kind of make a big circle through town. And I talk about everything from flowers to history to polka singers that are from here. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of things that are really involved with the formation of Frankenmuth that many people don't know about. Well, that was such a good time. Definitely check that one out. Well, thank you for joining us today on Focus on 5. We're back here again tomorrow at 3 on TV5. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching WNEM TV5. Watch us live wherever you are, our mobile, and on our streaming news app. You can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.